Have you ever wondered why your favorite shows use fake products or reality shows put tape over logos? For example, laptops often don't display the Apple logo or Microsoft logo on TV shows. There may also be fictional products such as the infamous Dr. Papson on Boy Meets World or the Super Big in Breaking Bad. The answer may not be what you think. As the Supreme Court recently pointed out in the Jack Daniels case, since a trademark is a source identifier, it's probably not infringement for a show or movie to use trademarks for purposes other than using it as its own identifying mark to sell goods or services. The Supreme Court referenced The Hangover Part 2, where Louis Vuitton was not used as a source identifier. Don't be ridiculous. You're sitting here. Careful, that's a Louis... That is a Louis Vuitton. One reason trademarks might be blocked is that a show doesn't want to upset its actual sponsors. An example of this is when Colin Kaepernick taped up his Beats headphones to avoid a fine, since the NFL was sponsored by Bose. Another reason is that they just don't want to give away free advertising if they can't land a product placement deal. It's possible they sought sponsorship and were denied. Famously, M&Ms did not want to pay to be used to lure the alien in the Spielberg hit E.T., so producers made a deal with Reese's Pieces instead. Of course, even if your decision to leave a mark in a production is legally correct, there's always the risk of litigation. Liberty Tax Service sued the creators of Better Call Saul for trademark infringement for using a blow-up Statue of Liberty for the Sweet Liberty Tax Service in one of its episodes, saying viewers could be confused. The court said not so fast and dismissed the case. The court noted that one is entertaining TV and one is a tax service and said there was no facts pled that suggested Better Call Saul was trying to attract viewers by associating itself with a tax preparation business. The court also said the reference to Sweet Liberty is clearly ironic and artistically relevant to the Kettleman's actions and hypocrisy. What fake logos have you spotted in TV shows? What other shows do you see put tape over logos? Next time you see real or fake trademarks or covered trademarks in movies or on TV, remember that trademarks are fun.